How did Joyner Lucas become financially free? We're going to talk about that in this video. Starting off with some background, Joyner Lucas, born Gary Lucas Jr., is a music artist who has been growing his popularity since 2015. Throughout his time in the music industry, he has focused on longevity with his music and investments. Playing the game smart has allowed him to grow to where he is today. In this video, we're going to talk about how much Joyner Lucas made from both music and investments. Going into music, Joyner Lucas has released four plus projects with a wide array of singles and remixes to build up his career to where it is today. He has achieved one platinum certification with his song, Isis, featuring Logic. Joyner also has three gold certifications for other tracks throughout his discography. He sits around 8.7 million listeners on Spotify per month. Now, what makes this interesting is that Joyner Lucas has been mainly independent throughout his career. He released the 508 album under Atlantic Records back in 2017, but that was his only project under a major label. This would change though with him signing a publishing deal in 2020 with Reservoir. Up until that point, Joyner Lucas was releasing music under his independent label, 29 Music Group. This means that the majority of his career, he owned 100% of his masters and was able to cash in as he grew his audience. Now that brings the question, why would he sign a publishing deal to Reservoir then? Signing deals isn't always a bad thing if done right. Yes, Joyner Lucas had to give up some publishing royalties, but it's different than most cases. He most likely only gave up a small percentage percentage of his publishing royalties because he has that leverage. He built up leverage which is his dedicated fan base to combat major record labels and get a better deal for himself. Now he gets to keep a larger portion of his royalties and sees a push that only a major record label could provide. In my opinion, he played it real smart. He still owns a majority of his music and gets a bigger push. This is huge for Joyner Lucas. Joyner has also been interesting in growing into other ventures since 2015. Him and his business partner, Dhruv Joshi, co-founded and created the Tolly app, which was built for music artists by music artists. Tully allows artists to write songs, record them, master songs, distribute, and store royalties. This really is a platform for young artists to get a good start on their career when they might not have access to the equipment or software needed. This app currently is in use by over 100,000 artists, which has allowed them to get a strategic investment from Sony Music Entertainment. It is not disclosed for how much, but with an app that's already thriving, it could be upwards of 10 to 20 million. The value provided by Tully is there and it reflects in the amount of users. Joyner really has some big here and just in my opinion this could be worth over 100 million dollars someday additionally joiner lucas has personally invested in the music nft company royal he was joined by nas logic and a lot more artists for a 55 million dollar series a investment round this app allows artists to sell songs as nfts and used a proof of concept method with a single release by three lao this dj released the single worst case as a 333 limited digital digital asset which would go on to make over $650,000 in sales. In return, both Royal and 3 Lao received 50% of sales which provides a good path to music ownership and new technology. It is no doubt on why Joyner Lucas would invest in this app with NFTs and crypto going crazy. It will definitely be interesting to see how this develops over time. I think this technology could be something big specifically with the purpose of artist ownership. Joyner Lucas has gotten on the ground floor and can bring back millions from this investment. Overall, Joyner Lucas has some big investments at play. His app Tolly has already seen massive success and only growing with the new investment from Sony. He also invested in new technology with Royal, which could provide him a great return as this technology develops. In summary, Joyner Lucas has been very smart when it comes to both music and investments. He built his career independently and used that leverage to expand his career in years to come. He built the app Tolly, which has gone on to see over 100,000 users and growing with the investment from Sony. Being a primary creator of this app can lead him to massive financial success. He also branched off into investing in Royal, which can be successful as the crypto and NFT space develops. The ownership that comes from Royal is a big selling point to artists, which provided that proof of concept test done. Joyner Lucas has seen success in music and can see even more M's 
from his investments. What can you take away from Joyner Lucas? The takeaway is to understand leverage and how to use it. Joyner Lucas was able to sign a publishing deal that benefited him owning songs by building a loyal fan base. Joyner Lucas was able to get a massive investment from Sony for his app Tully because they built up a massive user base. By understanding and using leverage, you can set yourself up for success. How can you build leverage for your success? This leads me to the question, what is next for Joyner Lucas? He will continue to release music as he just signed a publishing deal with Reservoir. He will continue to grow his app totally under investments from Sony. They already started implementing new ideas like artist management, which could help push the app to a larger base. I also think he will continue to invest in startups like he did with investing in Royal. Joyner Lucas is very successful and business savvy and reflects in his music and investments. And that is how Joyner Lucas became financially free. I hope you found this video informational. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe as well as let me know who I should talk about next. These videos are meant to provide a takeaway that you can apply to your life. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.